يلا اسمع منكم هذا بيتي كان اي بروفيسور؟ يس بليز هذا بيتي ذيس از ماي هاوس ذيس از ماي هاوس اوكي واي نوت هوم واي واي هاوس Because home maybe give another meaning like it's a country, but house is just like the part of part of the answer. Part of the answer. Thanks, Wade. Thanks a lot. You see, this is my house, Beiti. They say what I need. Okay, so this is my house. It's my house. We can say it's my house. Okay, it's also used. Here, the jar of khadra. Yes. 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 The 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 trees are green. The trees are green. Okay. The trees are green. Why not the green trees? The 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 green trees. There's just like a modified. A modified. There's no. It is just a modified now. It's not a predicate yes, and uh, you know a subject in English or a theme and reem. Yes. We are after finding the theme and the reem. You see, you know the theme and the reem. Theme is the subject or mubtada in Arabic, and reem is al khabar in Arabic or the predicate in English. Okay, thanks, thanks a lot again. Tiyur uh, mugarrida. Yes, who can do it? Yes, yes, please. Uh, birds are sweeting. Bird, uh, birds are what? Sweeting. Okay. Birds are tweeting. Birds tweet. Okay. But the tweeting birds cannot be used here. I think I have told you why. Next, Sadiqi Mujtahid. Sadiqi Mujtahid. Correct. Yes, go ahead, please. Uh, my friend is uh, diligent. My my friend is diligent. Much the hit. Any other expression? Hard uh, my... Dedicated. We can't say dedicated. You see, my friend is a dedicated one. Is a dedicated person. Okay, صديقي مجتهد. My friend is a dedicated person. You know, in English, adjectives cannot be used alone. You should, they should modify, or you should use them to modify other words or other nouns or adjectives. You see, صديقي مجتهد. My friend is a dedicated person, a diligent person. Etc. Okay, a hardworking person. Hardworking, you see. Again, we need a person, a modified noun. الامتحان يوم الاثنين. This is has to do with. Yes, sir. This sorry, not this is. This has to do with. You see, with adverbials, right? We have the adverb of time. يوم الاثنين. So be careful when you translate it. Yes. Yes, go ahead. Who is going to do it? Um, May I? Okay, let's let's hear from Rukaya. Yes, Rukaya. The exam is on Monday. The exam is on Monday. Good. The exam is on Monday. So this is a predicative sentence. You see, this is the English predicative or informative sentence, right? So we should have be. That's why we have added B or is. Thanks, Lukay. Turkey in the Middle East. Iraq. May I? Yes. Yes, sir. Turkey. Yeah, okay, I think it's it's better to be someone else. Thanks, Lukay. You are a dedicated student. Thank you. Haider Saad. Can you hear me, Haider? Yes, yes. Turkey is in northern Iraq. Okay. Or Turkey lies to the north of Iraq. 
or in the north of Iran. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, exactly. Okay. I think you should... You are not supposed to tell me what is exact and what is not. <laughs> anyway, أخوك في الحديقة. أخوك في الحديقة. Yes, sir. Can I? Yes, Ahmed. Uh, your brother is in a garden. Your brother is in the garden. Of course, this is informative again. Informative, and we have the adverb of a place, okay? Yes, sir. People, please pay attention. We have a structure. We should abide by the structure, or we should modify it up to the language, the English language that we teach, or we, we learn whether the teacher or the learners at the same time في السيارة رجلان رجلان مرفوع علامة رفع الألف لأنهما اثنان في السيارة خبر مقدم والرجلان لأنه نكرة في السيارة الرجلان مبتدأ مؤخر لأنه نكرة ولا يصح تقديم النكرة في العربية بشكل عام طبعا. اوكي اني واي في سيارتي رجلان. يس. ماي اي سر؟ يس فاطمه. ذيرز تو مان ان ذا كار. ذير از باي ذا واي. اكوردنج تو ذا يو نو تو ذا يو نو ذيس ذير اكسبليتف ذير يو نو اكسبليتف ذير اور يو دونت نو ات اي ويل تيل يو اباوت ات وين وي يوز ذير there is no need to add R. It's okay to use is or R. It depends on the context you use. You use it in. Okay? So there is. Yes, Fatma? Again? Two men in the men. car. Or we can say simply, in the car, there is two men. There is two men. You know, it is acceptable in English. Rarely acceptable, but it is acceptable. Two men in the car. Again, it is acceptable. But this is, you know, language of the street. So we deal with the formative language. There is two men in the car. Two men in the car. Uh, sorry, two men there in the car. There is in the car. Uh, May I? I need a new fresh faces. May I, sir? Yes, hello. There are strange birds under the tree. Can you say any? Uh, can you sorry say uh, funny birds, for example? استاذ يا دكتور العفو يعني يمكن مثلهم لأنه طيور غريبة مو طيور طريف أو مضحكة. Would you say that the, uh, the meaning of uh, funny is only attributed to the being funny? Or no, no. Funny? Like we said that it's uh, the most popular meaning is uh, tarif or يعني uh, Okay, I know that. I know. I know what, what are you hitting at. على الشجرة طيور غريبة. Okay. Strange. We can't say. We can't say that. هناك طيور طريفة على الشجرة. Okay, anyway, thanks. Funny thanks. birds. على الشجرة. Again, على الشجرة خبر. طيور غريبة. مبتدأ موصوف بالغريبة. صفة المبتدأ الطيور غريبة. إذا هم اثنين هم المبتدأ وعلى الشجرة الخبر. للبيت بابان. The house has two doors. Thanks a lot, Russell. That was the, you know, this, the fastest or the swiftest, <laughs> the most swift answer. <laughs> anyway, thanks, <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks a lot. <laughs> the, the, the house, the house <laughs> has two <laughs> doors. So this is in Arabic, a propositional, okay, sentence, right? Right? This is a propositional declarative sentence. But in English, it is changed into what? Into an informative declarative one. You see? The, uh, the house has two doors. Okay? Or uh, there is two doors in the house. We can say so. Uh, the surati itarun jameel. 
Can I sir? Yes. The picture uh, has, naam, the picture has a beautiful crime. Good. The picture has a beautiful frame. Can you say handsome? Is it acceptable? No. Why not? Because it is used to refer to, you know, beautiful guys. By the way, beautiful is used to refer to both sexes, male and female. Okay? Beautiful. We can say Ahmed is beautiful and Maryam is beautiful. Both of you are beautiful, so this is okay. But handsome is used only for boys or guys. Okay? واضح. Anyway. Yes. وصلنا على الأفق غيوم داكنة. Can I say? Yes. Please. Uh, uh, dark clouds are on uh, 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 dark, dark clouds are on the horizon? Are on horizon. Is this possible, yes. guys? Is this possible? Are on the horizon? Is this English? Of course, this is Arabic English. You know, sometimes when I correct the papers, when we have had papers to correct, you see, I used to write this uh, phrase, Arabic English. You know when I say Arabic English? Arabic English, when you use English in the way Arabic is structured or, you know, sentenced. Okay? So, any other translation? This is weak. Not, you know, not... There's... Yes, fa Fatma again. There's dark clouds in the air. Okay, this is okay. What what else? Who can tell me? Uh, dark clouds over the horizon. Good. Maybe. Good. Exactly. Yes. Or spread over the horizon. Dark cloud spread over the horizon. You see? Thanks a lot. Who did that? I didn't see your name. You see? Uh, it's me. Who are you? <laughs> Such a your favorite student. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is some kind of you know. You see? Well, Sajad, Sajad is a good student. Yeah. I do, I do, I do acknowledge this this fact. I do like his you know his way of dedication. I hope you all the best. Thanks again, Sajad. The first story ended. The first story ended. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 القصة الأولى انتهت حبه لها أو شك أن يهلكه This is so dangerous <laughs> Yes حبه لها أو شك أن يهلكه uh, Can I have a question? Yes so his, his love for her has almost killed him or has almost uh, destroyed him Has almost, not is has almost killed him. Yes, has almost. So, her love has almost killed him, okay? Loving her, you see, loving her has almost killed him. So, you do not translate word by word, or you do not follow the structure randomly or, you know, blindfolded, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who's gonna do this? Yeah. Yes, uh, we can say either uh, this bridge was built by Roman. Good. By Romans. Yes. Or by Romans. Or Romans built this bridge. Okay, both of them are acceptable. Both of them are acceptable and they are English, from an English point of view, 
that are well formed English sentences. Thanks again, Sajjad. Nicely answering. Yeah. Or nicely answered. Al Qasida Talita Katabaha Shairun Akhar. Can I start? Yes, uh, Marian. Yes. The third poem was was written by another poet. So this is passive. You see, this is passive, right? Yes. A good command. I'm sure presentation. You don't miss yet. خذت من الضجة. خاف واحد ما يشوفهم. I think you have now the presentation. Is it clear? You do see the the presentation, right? No, I can't. You can't. Is it clear right now? No, it's clear. Okay, yes, good. Yes, no. good. Yes. Uh, القصة الأولى انتهت. حبوه لا وش قصة الثالثة الحق لا يضيع جزاء. الحق لا يضيع. Yes, go ahead, please. The truth does not waste its reward. The truth does not waste its reward. Yes. I think this is the translation. This is not the Arabic sentence. You know, لا يضيع جزاء. الحق لا يضيع جزاء. It's some kind of a proverb. You know proverbs. Words that are, you know, continuously mentioned or continuously repeated by, by people. They are common, commonly mentioned or referred to by people. Proverbs, الأمثال. So the sentence that has been, you know, translated into English is some kind of proverb in English. Can you repeat it, please? You don't say this, huh? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, the truth uh, does not uh, waste uh, waste uh, this uh, reward. Good. There is no need for the truth because this is you know abstract, something abstract. Truth is not touched by hands or it's not tasted by tongue. So it is not tangible. It is intangible. يعني غير ملموسة. Truth. Does not, you know, waste. You know, waste. Does not waste its reward. Thanks. Good. This is a good translation. Al Rajul is dada tharwatu. May I? Can I, sir? May I? One of the ones who did not participate or who haven't participated so far. Any other participants besides? Can I, sir? Yes, Zainab. The man has gotten richer. Good. Excellent. The man has gotten richer. It is not the fortune yeah. who has, you know, you know, gotten bigger. Although we can say that. Yes. By the way, we can say that the fortune has gotten bigger. But bigger, it's, not the, yes. it's not the fortune. It is the man who is so important. We should focus on the relation between the elements inside the sentence. Thanks again. Thanks again, uh, Zainab. Zainab is an active participant. Thank Thanks again. في وحدة العرب قوتهم. Yes. May I, sir? Yes. Mustafa. The strength of Arab is in their unity. The strength of Arab. Is in their unity. Good. Okay. حب الوطن واجب. Can I sir? Yes. Yeah. Loving the country is a duty. Loving country is a duty. Loving country is a duty. Loving home is a duty. Okay. Home loving is a duty. Is it a burden? I don't know. I'd walk to in the head. Can I, sir? Can I? هذا طبعا مثل. I'd walk to in the head. 
Yes, Zainab. Time is gold. Time is Can money. I? Time is money. You know Time. they say it in English. Yeah. Time is money. Time is not gold. Time is money. Okay? Yes. Uh, time is gold. This is some kind of literary translation. Okay, literary. You know literary. Harfi. While time is money. Harfi, yes. Yes. Time is money. This is the one that is said by English people. And that is the difference. حب الوطن واجب الوقت من ذهب الحرية أثمن من أثمن شيء عند الإنسان. Yes. Yes. Go ahead, please. Me? Who's gonna do it? Freedom is the most important. Yes, the most important for humans. Freedom. What's wrong with freedom? Let us hear from Russell. Russell Noor. Yes, freedom is the most precious thing for humans. Good. The most precious thing for humans is freedom. Can't we say or say it or put it in this way? The most precious, yes, thing, the most precious thing for humans is freedom. You know, sometimes when we cancel mentioning the most important part of the sentence, this is for the sake of emphasis for emphatic purposes you see so it is okay to cancel freedom to the end of the sentence instead of saying it in the first part of the sentence what's the difference between the two when you mention freedom in the first place so this is the right choice or this is the literal translation it's okay it's acceptable no one will object but it's better to cancel it in order you know when you cancel it, you will hide it. You will hide it to the very end of the sentence. And this is part of being focusing on emphasis. You see? Yes. 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 That was in the past, you see? But after Nindel, uh, Nelson, sorry, not Nindel, Nelson Mandela, things changed, okay? This guy is a great guy. He has changed not only South Africa, I think the most parts of the African continent has changed, sorry, have changed because of this guy. Janub Africa, Yes. Can I? Can I? I think we have. Yes, so I. Uh, South Africa was uh, apartheid country. Good. Can you repeat it, please? South Africa is? South Africa was. Good. Apartheid country. Apartheid country. Uh, what about, you know, a discriminating country, you see? Discriminating country. Anyway, al istimar al qadim wal hadith takrahahu shu'ub. Excuse me, sir? Al mubtada ihna maf'oolun bihi. شفتوا يمكن حتى معوض بضمير متصل بالفعل يكره المبتدا هنا مفعول به صحيح انتبهتوا الاستعمار القديم تكرهه الشعوب الشعوب تكره الاستعمار القديم والحديث اسم من علاقه بالصفات uh, uh, putting these two adjectives aside the most important is that it is the objective to the verb so who can do it one of the galleys said that she can do it. Yes. Who's that me? Yeah, it's okay. Yes, Suhail, go ahead, please. The 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 modern uh, and the, the modern and old uh, colonization uh, hated by the people. Or like uh, we can say, like uh, the people of all countries. Uh, uh, hate uh, the colonization, the modern and the old one. Okay. People around the globe hate the old and modern colonization. Okay. Can we say people hate ignorance of colonialism? Okay, this is okay. Also acceptable. You know that translation is an art of, you know, approaching 
the meaning rather than the structure. We do right, we do things right when we preserve the structure, but sometimes we victimize or sacrifice the structure for the sake of meaning, okay? Sometimes we sacrifice, you know sacrifice? We sacrifice the structure for the sake of meaning. Okay? طبعاً, if I may say so, يعني إذا كان يصح لي التعبير في ذلك, يعني أنا استخدمت هي شيء. النفط مصدر الطاقة. Can I say? Can I say? Can I say? Can I say? رسول. محمد رسول. Yes. Yes, Muhammad. I can't hear you. Can I say? Yes, go ahead, please. I think we can't hear Muhammad. Zainab Lua. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, oil is an energy source. Good. Oil is an energy source, of course. Yes, sir. Yes. The energy source or major source is oil. Again, it's acceptable. Both of them are okay. And ma wal harara daruriyan lil hayat. Ma wal harara daruriyan. Can I say? Yes. Can I? Yes. Yes. Go ahead, please. Yeah. Yes, Fatma. Yes. Yes. Water on head are essential for life. Okay. Water and heat. Okay. Water and heat are essential for life or are necessary. Are necessary. Necessary for life. Okay. Good. Al Iqtisad al Salim. Al Iqtisad al Salim. Head of the Mir Hukumat. Yes. Yes, Mustafa. The proper the proper economy is the target of all the governments. The target of all governments is the proper economy. Again, cancellation. Okay? This is one of the English favorite ways of focusing on certain words. I think we have done these sentences or theme and rhyme issues. الصيغة الزمنية للجمل الاسمية وهنا تسكب العبارات. Temporal aspects of noun or nominal sentences. This is the Juman Ismiya fi Haddata Siga Zamaniya. This is Arabic or English. This is Arabic. Arabic way of approaching time. But as minute had the Juman to Haddidah and Nusus and Amalati Tarit Fiha. No, this is not totally acceptable. I do not accept this fact or this theory. In English, or according to Chomsky, Chomsky thinks that all sentences do have time. Okay? I will show you the fact that it is not in the context. But this is a general knowledge. ظرف أو زمان في الجملة. أما الجملة الإنجليزية فتكون لها صيغة زمنية يحددها الفعل فيها. وينبغي على المترجم مراعاة ذلك. فالجملة الإسمية قد تدل على المضارع الدائم. What is the المضارع الدائم? Timeless present. So this is about facts, right? It refers to facts, okay? وهنا ينبغي استعمال المضارع في الإنجليزية. Spring is a beautiful season. إن فصل الربيع فصل جميل. المرأة شريك الرجل في حياته. ذلك شأن الشعراء دائما. So if you check with me these Arabic sentences, they persist. They, you know, advance a certain fact which is repeated over and over. It is timeless. It is persistent, you see? Or continuous. Not the present continuous. I mean by the continuation is the, you know, الاستمرارية in Arabic. Spring is a beautiful season. Women is a man's companion during his life. This is always the case with poets. That's why we have translated them 
or translated them sorry into the present tense al mudhari' al haqiqi means now actual present here we should use the english verb in the present you are my guest now today i'm happy the manager is busy al madhi past وين بقى استعمال إحدى صيغ الماضي في الإنجليزية؟ نحن يوم وإذ في بغداد. We were in Baghdad. Okay. At this time. نحن يوم وإذ في بغداد. يوم وإذ is the real reason or the original reason that's why we used where. If you are asking right now why we have used where instead of saying for example we are in Baghdad at this time. Okay, it is because of Yom Ma'ed. Yom Ma'ed refers to something in the past. Wa'adah ya jama'a. It was a big city at this time. Again, Yom Ma'ed. Al-istiqbal, future. Wa tutarjim jumla ingilizu istiqbal ihda siyag al-istiqbal. I shall go within a few days. And inni musafirun ba'da ayyam. Inni musafirun ba'da ayyam. I am leaving in a few days. Or within few days. ولكنه ذاهب هناك بعد قليل. But he will go soon. Uh, sorry, he will soon go there. I think even we can say soon. But he will go there. نحن ذاكرون فضلك دائما. We shall always remember your favor. We shall always be obliged to you. أنت غدا في باريس. You will be in Paris tomorrow. You'll be in Paris tomorrow. الشرط الذي يفيد الامتناع hypothetical. لو هذا صحيح if this were true. لولا هذا الولد المسكين. ما كم مسكين بالموضوع. If it were not for this poor boy. لولا هذا الولد شفت الصيغة شلون الشرطية. If it is not sorry if it were not for this poor boy. Timrin. Translate into English. Okay. Regarding the with take taking into consideration, of course, uh, the tense of the sentence, the verbal sentence, and the nominal sentences. الشتاء بارد في هذه البلاد. وصلنا روما وهي يوم إذ مدينة جميلة نظيفة. قال وهو جالس على سرير من حرير. نحن ذاكرون هذا بعد قليل. ولا ما أيقنت أنه جاهل بهذا الأمر قلت ال... قلت للسماء الصاف... السماء صافية هذه الليلة الديمقراطية اليوم هدف الجماهير الديمقراطية اليوم هدف الجماهير أوكي الحرارة في هذه الغرفة شديدة لولا هذه النقود القليلة yes who can do them yes sir yes sir go ahead أحمد and then we will have next. The winter is cold in this country. Good. The winter is so. Uh, the, the winter is cold in this country. So cold or cold in this country. Why didn't you use another tense instead of the winter is so cold or so is cold? Ah, oh, she's المشكلة. Simply, it's a fact. You see, this is timeless. It continues or it goes on each winter, right? وصلنا روما وهي يوم إذ مدينة جميلة نظيفة. Who can do it? May I, sir? Yes. Go ahead, please. We we arrived in Rome and it was a beautiful, clean city. Good. Very good. قال وهو جالس على سير من حرير. مصطفى محمد جواد. Yes sir. Yes. قال وهو جالس على سرير من حرير. We can say. قال وهو جالس على جالس على سرير من حرير. We we can say he said what he said and he. Uh, he said, and he's sitting uh, on the bed, 
عرفت هذا الحل شنو من يجي اوكي ثانكس مصطفى هو كان دو ذس كان اي بس مي كان اي سير حيدر سعد let us hear from حيدر yes he said while sitting on a bed of silk good this is acceptable so hey do you have something else to add uh, it was the same uh, sentence before okay good thanks again sitting on a silky bed or a bed of silk he said it okay sitting on a silky bed he said it or he said it while sitting on a silky bed نحنو ذاكرون yes may I sir yes Mustafa Mustafa uh, sorry uh, soon we will mention that soon soon we will mention this soon we will mention this okay we will refer and instead of saying mention we should we, will refer to this. we can say refer they are both okay Come. Okay. Uh, as Sama Safiya. Professor, can we? Yes. Professor, no. just for uh, yeah, okay. can we said can we say like uh, we are mentioning this for uh, like uh, after a few minutes or two few hours like that. Okay. We are it's mentioning. acceptable again. It's acceptable again. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, yeah, Jama. Sama Safiya. Can I say? Zainab. Hi, Zainab. Yes, uh, the sky is clear this night. Hello. Jameel, the sky is clear this night. This night, the sky is clear. So it depends on what part of the sentence you favor, okay? A democracy, a head of Jamahir, a Yes. Yes. Who are you? Russell again. Yes, Russell. Okay. Uh, today, the, uh, the goal of the message is democracy. Democracy today is the goal, the of, goal the of the masses. Is the goal of the masses, okay? Yes. Okay. Please write down your names on, in the comments. In the comments, so I can see them. Uh, any further questions? Any addition? Have you enjoyed the lecture? Uh, Doctor, uh, I have a question about uh, uh, loving yes. nation is a duty. Can we uh, substitute uh, duty with a must? Yes, you can change it with a must. Replace it with a must. It's okay. It's a must. Is there any circumstance? Uh, the question here is: there any circumstance to use a specific word of these two one? What's wrong with them? I said that he is. I mean, we can use one of the two words, or one of the two words. Of course, con contextual factors will, you know, rule the the situation, will control the situation. So it depends on the situation itself. You remember when I said, you remember when I said, uh, I think uh, it was the sentence when we cancelled Al-Hurriya. Al-Hurriya was cancelled to the end in my translation. You know why I cancelled it? Simply to focus on Al-Hurriya or freedom in English. You see? So it depends on the context that you are using the language in. So it depends on you. You will judge whether you use must or other words besides most okay so it is contextually so this is this translation that you asked about is contextually factored or contextually controlled thanks again for the question that was nice i hope that you enjoyed the lecture it was nice of you to participate your participation was so active i am proud of you i am so happy with your answers they were so good Next time, inshallah, we will have the rest of the chapter. See you again and 
bye bye for now please write down your names have you written your names in the comments yes yes yes, yes you're writing them thank you Mr. so write them and go ahead and see for yourselves what you are trying to do next time anyway thank you again thank you mr thanks for your efforts thank you you're welcome. i hope that you enjoy the lecture Thank you, thank you, Doctor. Take care of the delicious car. Thanks a lot.